Mad Mikey Gaming. G'day all you mad gamers out there, I'm Mad Mikey and in case you don't know I come from the land bloody down under and in today's gaming news, you know, reactions and opinions, the daily show where I come out and I go crowd about all the websites out there and bring out all the news that interests me and hopefully it interests you and just deliver my reactions and opinions to it. Don't forget, if you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe with all your mates out there because you know what, they might be mad about games too. Oh, and don't forget to ring a ding 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 that notification bell so that you never miss a show. Now, I do apologize. <laughs> I'm a bit under the weather today. I am feeling like total crapola. But the show must go on. And in today's first gaming news, uh, Nintendo is ramping up its production of the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, with Christmas coming up. And just the actual interesting uh, bit of information there that I wasn't aware of. Uh, it's actually not out in Taiwan or in China yet. Th this was just... Just blew my world. I, I had no idea of this. Uh, this is actually really crazy, but they are they have set themselves a goal of 20 million units to be shipped by the end of this year. Uh, it is launching in Taiwan uh, in December this year and early uh, early 2018 next year over in China. Uh, reports have been going around that there's been faulty parts and whatnot and that's what's sort of been slowing production of it at the moment they are reporting that it is actually due to a shortage in the DRAM that they do use on the console uh, at the present 50% of switch stock is manufactured uh, by Foxconn and the rest handled by Huizadon uh, I have no idea who these guys are to be honest um, other vendors by uh, Petatron and Winstron are hoping to convince Nintendo to work with those guys uh, obviously Christmas is coming uh, Mario which is going to be their huge Flagstaff game of the year along with a game that I'm obviously excited about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is coming out soon and with the Nintendo Switch just really going from strength to strength they need as many consoles out there especially since it's the cheapest one out there as well uh, moving on to uh, some more sort of, you know, Switch news, uh, but as a broader Gamer Nation, uh, you see what I do there? Don't forget to check out the podcast, Gamer Nation podcast. Uh, Fear Effect Sender is being announced uh, that the release date is going to be coming out in early 2018, and it's coming out on the Switch 2. Yeah. This is awesome. Uh, I, I love the Fear Effect se series. If you haven't sort of uh, been catching up with me, uh, they've also announced that they're doing the remake as well. And that is going to be coming to the Switch as well. So it's going to be coming across all platforms. Uh, in case you don't know, um, Fear Effect is wasn't so much of a survival horror game. But if you remember the old sort of Resident Evil games, that's the sort of thing it was done, but it was more of a cell shading, uh, futuristic sort of um, steampunk kind of world. Really, really love this game. Uh, really pushed a lot of boundaries back in the day as well. It's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, their their uno unofficial sequel, which was actually a uh, Kickstarter crowdfunded sort of thing. Uh, but along with, they've been handed the reins to remake the original. So looking forward to this one now this one is weird and i actually saw it last night uh the people who are not familiar with the wwe world uh that know that over that they've had a lot of promotions going on at the moment with kfc uh which can take fried chicken uh doesn't know what that is uh but they also announced at their pay-per-view last night hell in a cell that Colonel Sanders is going to be a playable character on WWE 2K18. God, it's like that Burger King game that came out on like the Xbox 360. This is crap. Uh, he, I don't think he's actually a playable character, but everything there is 
in the creator wrestler to be able to make this character. Now, uh, WWE superstar Dirk Ziggler actually does an advert for KFC where he dresses up as Colonel Sanders and beats the crap out of somebody. That advertises chicken these days, apparently. Uh, but I think this is really stupid, but you know what? I'm, I'm sure KFC is giving them the money to do this, so as long as both those parties are happy, they're not pushing it down my throat, everything should be cool. And just, I've got a couple of three, well, couple, no, couple's two. I've got a few just over left in there. Quick news! Over the weekend, uh, Xbox One and Xbox 360 users uh, are going to get gold for free over the weekend. It's, this is... A very regular thing. I, I don't know who doesn't play for, pay for gold these days. In case you don't know, Xbox Live Gold is uh, its online service. You get the free games. It's very much like the PS Plus before PS Plus was PS Plus. If you know what I'm getting at. Uh, it's go and it's also coinciding with the fact that Battlefront 2 Open Beta is coming out this weekend uh, so you'll be able to play on there they're gonna have a lot of people that's gonna be good to stress test it so uh, guys I do uh, if you're on Xbox one please go check it out and play with it I was playing with it uh, over the last weekend it's actually that beta has been extended so giddy up guys it's really good and also this weekend Wildlands uh, aka Ghost Recon Wildlands, sorry, is going to be free to play this week on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. So if you're on the sort of fence and got sort of burnt by, you know, The Division, this is actually a really cool uh, game. It's open world. It's, it's yeah, it's really enjoyable. If you're on the fence, you obviously know what it is. So go maybe go check it out. And just in the last bit, the new games that are releasing this week. Uh, there are a lot of big games coming out this week, and I don't even know where to start. Uh, but Middle Earth Shadow of War is coming out, which is a sequel to the original, obviously. Middle Earth... Oh, I can't even remember what it's called. Don't ask Michael. Um, and along with uh, The Flood in the Flame, which is a really good indie title that's coming to the Nintendo Switch. And on... <laughs> Friday the 13th, you're going to be getting The Evil Within 2 and the physical edition of Friday the 13th, the game. I don't know which ones to get. I can only probably get one. And I haven't finished Shadow I haven't finished Shadow of Mordor. Haha. <laughs> Shadow of Mordor or the Evil Within first one, so I don't know. And I want to get the physical edition of Friday the 13th on the Xbox One, because I've got the digital one on PS4. I don't know. Guys, which ones are you picking up? Uh, that's it for today's show. As I said, I'm really not feeling well right now. But guys, I hope you enjoy the games that you're playing. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow if there's any gaming news to deliver to you. Otherwise, there might be a bit of a stream. Anyway, until then guys, have a great day. Bye guys.